Very underrated. Very underrated. They got the defensive linebacker, Ellis, from the Jets. That's a nice little pickup today. And the Giants will have Victor Cruz back healthy. They got Spags in as defensive coordinator, and we know Spags works his magic. Got a couple of playmakers. And people saying that this wasn't a big move. The Giants getting Shane Vereen. I think you're crazy. I am so in love with this move for the Giants. This is a big, big playmaker. This is a guy who knows how to win. He's coming from the Super Bowl champion Patriots. Vereen knows how to win. He knows how to run the football, catch the football, and play the game of football. This is a huge weapon for Eli. Something the Giants have not had. That elite running back that can also catch the ball and make things happen. So now you you have, we, we already know Cruz and Beckham, which I think is, is two of the most super offensive players in the league. Then you got the tight end, and then you got Vereen. Huge, huge move by the Giants. And people go, oh, yeah, the Giants have a quiet off season. I don't think they are. I think they're making the moves. They're plugging the holes. Someone said today they, they look at the Giants as a 6-10, 7-19. Well, how can you say that? And I'm telling you right now, Reese is, Reese is not, he can't be this stupid. you got to draft a lineman with your first pick. You can't be sitting there and taking a receiver or, or taking this or taking that. You need a lineman. Because I think the Giants are a lineman away from doing something special. Now, I I think that the Redskins, please, or whatever they're going to be called, Redskins are a non-factor. The Eagles... Oh, yeah, you know, you got Murray. I still, I, I think the Eagles are a mess. I don't think the Eagles right now have an identity. This current date, March 16th, I don't think the Eagles have an identity. And the Cowboys losing Murray was a big blow. Because what that did, having Murray and having that stud running back, was it took the pressure off of Romo, who I, I don't want to say he's fragile, but he's fragile. Let's face it. You don't think this runs through his head and this, t- this, this takes a toll mentally on this guy? Constantly hearing that he can't win the big one. He can't, he can't win, period. He's a choke artist. And now he doesn't have that big stud to hand the ball off to and run and get him out of trouble. So I, I think Romo is going to also take a step back. And you watch. Romo takes a step back, team starts losing... Dez will be the most unhappy person in the world, and Dez ain't coming back two years from now. I think the Giants are the team to beat in the NFC East. If you ask me right now again, gun to my head, March 16th, 2015, the New York Giants are the team to beat in the NFC East. Am I going any further? Mm, We'll talk about that in August. This current date, March 16th, the Giants are the team to beat in the NFC East, hands down. And I thought the Vereen move is a move that is being, for some reason, overlooked and underappreciated by the New York radio media. I mean, nobody. ESPN, FN, I, I was expecting this to be a, a big thing because I think it is. I think it's a huge move for the Giants, getting Vereen. Oh, uh, you know, a nice little move. Nice little move. It's a great move by the Giants. Huge. Their offense is so stacked. This offense could give Seattle's defense a run for their money. This giant offense is that good. It's deadly. The Giants offense has the ability, this coming season, 2015, to be one of the best ever. It is scary good. It is so explosive. So explosive. Eli's got to be Eli, which, that's another thing. Eli last year was not the problem. 
People go, oh, well, they got all these weapons, but they have Eli as the quarterback. So? Listen, you Giant fans are bitching about Eli, who's a two-time Super Bowl MVP. The, the Jets have Geno and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Come on. You Giant fans are so spoiled. You got one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Is he elite? No. Is he the greatest of all time? No. But he wins when he has to win. And him and Tom, they've shown twice, twice, when the odds are stacked against them, they always come out on top. Always. Always. NBA talk after this next segment, Soriano Network.